All right, we back. We just saw a One Piece film, Red Thoughts. Oh, yeah, it was fire, bro. Fire, 100%. You got to see it. Have to, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, beautiful. Honestly, I enjoyed everything. It's my second time watching it. Oh, so you're a One Piece fan. Okay. Hell yeah, yeah. To the end. Okay. Very end. Okay, got some Gear 5 in there. Hell yeah. That's hot. That's hot. Gear 5. All right. Yeah. Thoughts? Yo, so... I mean, the singing was a little bit extra, for but sure, like we sure. chilling with that. Gear five, they just give us a little like sneak and peek for real sure. quick. Not too much though. Not just give much. me a little, not it. just like a little bit of little bit of action. Not too much. Like you want us manga, uh, like uh, us video watchers to be like satisfied with this shit coming out. I don't want that shit to be too crazy. I don't want an explanation. I just want to see a little sneak peek, a little peekaboo Thank for you. me. Thank you. I You're an anime it. watcher, right? Oh yeah, yes. you know yeah. it. One piece. Is okay, oh, yeah, that was more? fire. Okay, tell us more. Dude, like that. All I all I can say is this shit's meant meant for IMAX. Okay. Like it's meant for IMAX. You like the animation. Oh, it was point? it was on point. Yep. Like I love that. got hockey. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, Usopp hey. got hockey. It's been 25 years, bro. He finally did some shit. Like, did we get some new observation hockey? Was they like seeing through each other's eyes? Was that new? Oh my god, this was Usopp's. That like Usopp's moment was. Oh, that shit was so fucking. Sick. That was the chef's kiss. That was that was that was the chef's that was kiss. Awesome. I like that. Right there, right there. I right, appreciate y'all. We on YouTube. BRX Connect. All right, we'll be back again. All right, we back again, and we just saw One Piece film Red. Thoughts? Um, so it's gonna be very interesting to review this as a, you being a fan of One Piece and me just watching it on Toonami as a kid and, and falling off it because it wasn't version. the really it wasn't the real version. You just Things saw were some substituted. Real one piece. You just saw some the, real the One dub, Piece. The dub, the dub was. You know, it sucked. Um, first of all, I will say the presentation of this was amazing. And I will agree with the previous uh, people that said you got to see this in IMAX. Obviously, that's not going to be uh, available to everyone. But uh, if you can, I will recommend it to when I hate IMAX. But this yeah, great see it in the theater because it's still in theaters. Um, definitely glad that we caught the, the sub version yes uh, for sure because i don't think the music's gonna hit the yeah, same yeah. way yeah i was just thinking English. like the bell situation yes my god save i'm glad we waited for because the music was great it was fire it was like little i mean little breaks between story of just like a a bit visual, like cool visuals it was but it, that was a bit much um, a lot of singing yeah, towards the beginning, but towards the but end, it almost it, helped the story. Towards, towards it truly the, yeah, was a towards part the end, the towards the end, it was like it was towards more the beginning. Yeah, towards the, towards the beginning was kind of just like okay, we're we're getting entertained by this, but the end, it like yeah, served a purpose. Um, that was so probably the just, best part was the fact that even though it was a lot of songs, they were telling a story through the songs, and it yeah, was weaved yeah. into the actual story story <laughs> that we were watching. As far yeah. as her being a musician. And the guy like raising her in the city of musicians and all the music stuff. Yeah. It just was like on theme. I mean, it, it hit just the, the themes hit just that that creativity. So let me just read the the little plot summary. I'll thing. probably cut it out. No need to. <laughs> I like giving context. Fine, you can cut it out if you want. Go ahead. I'm gonna read it. Uta is a beloved singer, renowned for her concealing her own identity when performing. Her voice is described as otherworldly. Now, for the first time ever, Yuta will reveal herself to the world at a live concert. Um. So yeah, uh, definitely thrown off by that whole. Con I thought I thought that was just gonna be a setup for like some like pirate adventures. But, but it was actually it was a setup actually, for a mind control and world takeover, and you just didn't and know. I love that because it's like. It's, it, it started with the theme, uh, with like kind of like an entertaining concert thing, and there's you know millions of, of these fans of hers um, here for this uh, for her perf performance and, and whatnot, and and then you find out that yeah Luffy knows her. I wasn't sure if she'd ever um, been a part of the One Piece. She world was. Before. They did a retcon where they did like four episodes that kind of wrote her into the story now but shanks has been a day one character so I she was got a, that yeah, yeah she was retconned so everyone in. sort of probably perked up when they heard she was the daughter of shanks yeah of course and, and luffy's the one who always reveals shit like a you know he's that type of character who just say it out loud yeah yeah he's got jonathan vibes <laughs> they i'll go for it uh 
Um, so yeah, no, it was like, it, it was very, like they knew what they what story they wanted to tell and they hit the themes from the beginning. Um, there was a lot of like push and pull. Like she wasn't just like straight uh, like evil. evil. Yeah. Um, she had a, a reason, you know, because uh, yeah, I mean, she was, she wanted to be a pirate at the beginning, and then, but she was also a great singer, and they and took her to the, the island. Demon. Yeah, she actually did. She did the damage. I like. Yeah, that was good. Well, no, reveals. it was like it was like it's almost a, a metaphor for society pressuring you into doing something, and and then they completely lied to her about what happened, which is cool because like I, they didn't reveal that right away. Like you had to like walk through like the story was just like piece by piece you were on her journey you saw it like through her and luffy's eyes almost and then you realize when he tells the truth like this is what actually happened even though you uh, saw the two sides because luffy was the one who trusted shanks and she didn't trust shanks so it was almost like their journey too as the two kids who were with shanks at the beginning yeah how they both turned out through that same i don't want to call it a parenting style but he just kind no, of left them both someplace yeah, and they yeah. both grew up different mm-hmm. ways one trusting him yeah he and was one, i mean like, he, he was i mean him. initially as a kid he was the underling like he was the she was the one that was had, that was the most trustworthy and she, he like shanks brought her on those pirate adventures and like yeah like and it uh, yeah i mean it says a lot about just like someone with a lot of potential but then that can go wrong um or can go right in spite of the potential and that's that's like the one thing of one piece is passing the torch and you see in the show a lot like how one character is like you know like their will it's the passing of the will is what they call it Mm. so it's like they pass their will on to these different characters for right or for wrong you know what i mean is how how do they take it i like i like the competition between them too because that comes in really quick as soon as like they yeah luffy comes on stage and and like kind of reunites and stuff and they're just like super competitive you're like oh they must have like a yeah like a a backstory that, that and then they flash back to them competing in, in certain things and um she's always like making fun of him about like i guess beating him and shit yeah like, i like how they built those characters out like you know what i mean like the little yeah. things like her doing the little hand thing every time she beat him it's like yeah, it you start funny. to get used to certain <laughs> things you know what i mean like or the the giving them the juice thing Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was that was funny, like playing dirty a little bit. Um, and even the musical staff and them being trapped on the music and notes. And it was like, funny it was too. It was like stuff. so great music. It was funny. She turned she turned like inanimate objects into fucking things like little Pokemon. Um, Literally was turning people and <laughs> in, in things into Pokemon. Yeah, the rules are kind of a little bit out of. Out That's of one piece though. There's no rules. That is um, literally the show. Is there's no rules. Yeah, just like visually stunning um and uh and yeah ha- had humor humorous humor, humorous bits i guess i'm pointing out probably the obvious things to to one piece fans but uh man yeah i'll let you you talk what what as a I mean, as, no, as a one piece hit it all. You hit as it a all. one piece i'm uh, going to just say 10 out of 10 obviously yeah you know i just love one piece i would give it a 9 out of like, 10 because there was a lot of music but I give it 10 out of 10 because Oda's just a G. And there was a lot of storytelling. They got they revealed things that a person who watches the anime and doesn't read the manga would have been seeing for the first time too. And that was cool. As an anime reader who just has been like, manga I've reader. seen some of the manga stuff. But I said, when I said anime reader. I think you switched. <laughs> yeah. As an anime you. watcher, I've seen some of the manga stuff. So I already know what the fuck is up for the most part. But mm. they actually were showing it. But like that dude said, like they just were giving you clips and glimpses and little teasers but they mm-hmm. didn't really mm-hmm. reveal anything and, and that was awesome man because like it, it's yeah like i love anytime like you're kind of like switching your allegiance not even switching but just like understanding you know both sides and then even well and then you have the navy too the but there's that's just kind of constant there's, there's consequences in the real world for the navy like you know, killing all these civilians to get to fucking uh, Uda. Well, there, it's absolute justice is the Navy now. Like, yeah. in part two of One Piece, the new Navy is very, very, like, villainous, we'll say. And so they Kind of yeah, like the American They military. believe in destroy everything. I mean, I mean, or, everything has, like, its counterpart yeah. in the real world, we'll just say. But 
Yeah, it's like we don't care how much uh, you know collateral damage. Yeah, legit. <laughs> because we just have to kill uh, whoever. No, nope, it was solid. I Terrorists. love all my favorite characters. You know, we got some Bartolomeu. You don't know about him, the dude with the with the shield. It was protecting Luffy yeah, a lot. Yeah. I so kinda, he's a Luffy fan, basically, in the show. I like, kinda, that's his... Um, or in a story. I, I kind of kind of guessed and, and kind of recognized some... You can catch vibes, though. Because everybody's ago. character... That's the thing about how Oda writes is everybody's character is so, like, defined. I feel like you can kind of be like, oh, that's yeah, that character. Yeah. That's that character. Because the visuals match the personality, match the powers, Pinocchio match knows. everything. Who's that? Uh, Usopp. Usopp. Yeah. Usopp. <laughs> and he's the liar. That's yeah. why he has the Pinocchio <laughs> yeah. nose. Like, you know, like it's, um, it's genius. This dude's bikini genius. chick. Nami. I remember her. Nami, Nami was having some some angry vibes towards Luke. Some passive I feel aggressive. Like, like who's maybe this chick they, vibes? Maybe there was so many characters that a lot of them did get not not a ton of. You know, and I agree, but I realized like that was just trying to be like on some fan. You know what I mean? What we mm. call that fan service type fan thing, service, where you just yeah. insert all the characters you can from as many different yeah, like yeah. arcs. At the end, they go through every single like arc and show where are they now. You know, like that was an interesting thing. But for a non-fan, they're just like a bunch of pictures. Oh, that's. But what if was you've happening. never, you know, you've never seen it, it didn't make sense. But yeah. everybody else was in there just sitting around, like oh, like nobody really left yeah, once they yeah. realized what was getting flashed up there. I like the, yeah, even how the music tied into it, like. Them, them being trapped in the musical fucking yeah. signatures. Like a music dream and stuff, yeah. And and getting out by singing, singing the note. Singing the note. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was kind of, you know, a little corny, but I liked it. But it was on theme. It was creative. That was the thing. Like, it was on theme. Everything yeah. was on theme. Yeah. And then uh, just the action was fantastic. fantastic. I mean, a little bit. It like, was almost too much at some time. It was a little out there, <laughs> but I guess... That's why you make a movie of it. Um, fucking Luffy went Super Saiyan 4 at the end. It's a uh, Gear 5th. He went Super. He went Gear 4, <laughs> and then he goes to Gear 5th. And I do feel like they literally made Gear 4 <laughs> like Super Saiyan 4, for sure. Yeah, I was like looking real hard to see if he had fur on him, but um, it's, it's hockey. <laughs> yes, that's okay. what, yes. <laughs> but literally, bro, does do that. That's funny you say that. Hockey. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, maybe I, I missed how, how he, yeah, what happened there. And, and Nothing. That he can always do that. He could have done that from the beginning. Like, that's oh, the thing about okay. Luffy is because he's almost become like a one punch man character. You know, like all the emperors are, are almost too strong in the story. So they never do anything Super till the end. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. like, that's why he took off but the I cape and like, was like, I'm serious now. And but even at the end, he's chilling. like, oh, I, I didn't want to hurt you. I, like, you didn't, she said, why you didn't you actually, hit me? Yeah, 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 because he's he's too strong now. You know what I mean? Like, and, he said it but hits it kinda, like a it pistol. But it makes sense. You know, I was like, um, and also, yeah, I mean, even going back to just the whole reasoning behind it and, you know the 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 wake shrooms and stuff. I mean, I guess I, I I don't know if I can explain entirely that whole situation, like why she was able to do that stuff. Okay, and, so here's what but, it was. It was she had drank, ate the sing sing fruit. Mm -hmm. Everybody has those devil fruit powers when they eat the fruit. Yeah. So the fruit makes you go to that world. The so magical. That's already a thing. That's already a thing. Oh, okay. And then the magical things help summon that demon king when you when you sing when that person with that power sings those words it brings out the demon king that's already been a thing that's a thing they pretty much they introduced it slightly in the show but they introduced it slightly just for this movie in those four episodes mm. but i think what they're trying to do if i'm being real like this is why i think the movie was cool and kind of genius and it's just my opinion because you know nothing's even, happened yet i thought it was genius and i didn't even know is like they're trying to set it up for the end of one piece and they're introducing the themes that are going to be prevalent actually in the show such as like luffy and, and shanks fighting the three skull demon which is like the three head it literally was the same flag for the most part as the one of the main villains blackbeard mm. was like that demon thing and he's kind of like the the darkness guy oh the, um, the fucking what was the demon's Totes name? Musica. Totes Musica. <laughs> so <laughs> love the fucking names. He he basically I, I think was like a 
he was, yeah, thematically he was representing that. And they're just kind of telling you, the thing about Oda is I feel like he always will tell you what's gonna happen before it happens. You know what I mean? And Genius. I think this movie was him kind of saying, Genius. this is kind of how we're going to wrap this up. And there's been other arcs in the show that I feel like are, That's, they're mirroring what's going to happen. Uh, Dragon Ball Super, like Dragon Ball is the same way a little bit. Not at all. No. No. Oh, well, they're re they remake the... the yeah, One Piece is like genius planning from the beginning. So it's, Dragon it's Ball all, is like making all, it up as they go. So it's all, um, what's it called? Sequential, like it, it like... The movie and then the show continues from where the Basically, movie Basically, that's and that's the thing about the movie that I liked is the show is not even at the place where the movie kicked off at. So they were using things that a person in the show hasn't seen yet. Like they haven't reached that far, but the manga has reached that far. So it was like an in-between teaser. Like if you watch the manga, you get some of this. If you watch the anime, this is a teaser for the things that are to come for you. Which is genius, might yeah, I add? Yeah, it is. Like, but I also enjoyed it without having and any see, of that And context. that's even cool too. It's like literally that's all. That's the whole trifecta. Like Non-users, mangas, and it's anime. Like, oh man, just just a, a prodigy, you know, dealing with like it's almost an internal struggle metaphor as well. Like this this fucking amazing singer that you know, and she's trapped. She gets trapped on the island because of her own doing, basically with this guy that's like, yeah. Um, what is it? Cause they, they, they had the, like, like that whole island was like basically for music, music people, people musicians, and, and no. music. <laughs> 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 musicians. Um, I couldn't even. Was it like a just a? I don't know. It seemed like a commune for musicians yeah, or something. Yeah. Like we come to this island in order to practice music to our heart's content at the highest level. That's where Mozart would have come from in the in the One Piece world. Um, but yeah, and just she destroyed it unconsciously because she was so good. Um, well, how did so it was overnight, and then what was his name? Like, what did he do? Shanks. What? No, no, the the music teacher guy. Gordon. Gordon. Like he, he what took he, her. He just took her in. And that's all he did. He took her in. Like the point where they summoned that, uh, oh, because it was that, that, that forbidden script. Yeah. Uh, music, uh, yep. music pages. That and he didn't call destroy to her them. In the, in the deep exactly. depths of the island. The Tope Musica knew, like, it had to get out that way. And I feel like One Piece is going to go a demon and god route. And they're starting to, like, introduce more elements like that. And they've been kind of tapping on it a little bit. And in the past, they've tapped on, like, the gods and stuff. But I think they're gonna really bring it back, and this is like the beginning of showing like the demon powers so in one Toad's piece. music is like the first real but we're gonna god see. thing. Kind of show. I mean, they've shown other things. There was Enel and like an arc in Skypea, and he was saying he was the god. They've shown like the moon, moon pirates. They've shown. They've done a lot of stuff at this point. One Piece is just whatever, you know. It's like however yeah. dude's feeling, he gonna I draw. I mean, it. yeah, for a show that's about pirates. Fucking announce about everything. But it's still about pirates. Like, that's the thing. It's always on theme. He can say whatever he wants, do whatever he wants, because, like, the themes are so strong. They always are prevalent. No matter what yeah. the characters are, what the setting is, like, it's always prevalent. He's a genius. Yeah. Because, yeah, it's like... One of the greatest the, stories of like, all time. Like, yeah, pirates One bad. Piece, yes. Like, a lot of people think pirates are bad, just bad. Remember the line in there where he's like, well, there's pirates defending the people. You know, like... Or yeah, the navy is yeah, just going, yeah. doing whatever, and then the pirates are protecting the people. Like who would have saw it? But then they're framing it as like, oh, the pirate, the pirates have wreaked havoc on all these different uh, places, right? Oh, like the on, navy. Yeah. They're framing it like absolute justice. They have to kill Uta, even if it means sacrificing the lives of some of the people. Well, no, she becomes well, a bigger like, threat. It was like the, or maybe it was like. The civilians that said that that were, that pirates were oh like yeah when they just kept going like the flash throughs of what all the yeah, people were yeah, thinking yeah like, that was just like civilians on the islands mm, you know they gotta work on their branding a little bit with the pirates yeah well that's that's what Luffy's out here doing <laughs> living free um yeah that was great that was fucking great.
and I, I'm glad. It was like, a little long. Yeah, I, I was gonna say. say, but you know, the thing is, I don't think it was as long as you. It, nah, maybe it was. It started at what a fifteen ish. It was probably about two it hours. It was about two I can't, hours. Can't lie. And they were doing During a lot. The middle, the middle part. But um. I feel like the songs were cool. I did like the songs. She could really sing. I don't know who that singer was, but she was really fucking killing those shits. Definitely. But it was a lot of that. I was like, they could have just cut. Like, have you ever had like Luffy fell asleep during one of them? I was hoping they would do that in one of the songs. Like, we get it. She could sing, but let's keep it moving. Like, yeah. It had kind of Demon Slayer vibes too, with the, with, you know, fall asleep. Well, I guess opposite. Because if she falls asleep in the real world, then... Oh, and Demon Slayer was, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they were on the Mugen train. Yeah. Well, no... Well, yeah, because... So she had to stay awake in order for that world to... Or in order for the people to still be She had to stay awake to sing. She could control the bodies in the real world. You know what I mean? Yeah. But in the, in the singing world, she would have seemed like she would be around. You know what I mean? Even if she died, she would still be in that singing world. That's what it yeah, seemed like. It was yeah. a trapping it was like them for all forever. Trap, trap them. Just the connection was, was going to sever, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, which, that, that seems like a big theme. Like, in Bell, like, that, like... I mean, there's, like... Like, the theme of, like, other worlds and connection between the real world. Like well, it's, it's just the it's anime just, style. It's called it, isekai. I mean... Like, that, in yeah, another world. Yeah, maybe that's been going on for a while. I guess that's not a new thing, but... Yeah, people keep telling the stories about... Like, the connection point between, a, like, virtual, I guess... Yeah, the Matrix. Niggas, everybody is doing world. the Matrix. Yeah. But it's relevant now, you know what I mean? Even they were in there doing the Black Lives Matter walk. Remember they was all walking with their fists in the air looking for Luffy and them? Oh, yeah. Also, like I said. <laughs> yeah. Black Lives Matter. <laughs> <laughs> the marsh. Yeah. They had some really good sound, sound effects in there, too. That IMAX definitely helped. Yeah. Um, okay, man. so let me just dive into a little bit more. Outside of the story and just, like, the filmmaking alone, the story was weaved together so well. I love how they do the reveals as they move through the plot. So it's like you are going on the journey with the characters. And then they will just pop in and be like, okay, reveal a little bit more of the story. And it's like they do it in, it's like, I don't want to say it's formulaic. And if it is, then it's a good ass formula. But it's like you're going through the movie at a certain point, you get like a, a chunk, but yeah. you get like a chunk of information going backwards, you get little chunks. Until yeah. you get the like tiny cherry on the top piece of information that reframes everything else that just happened. Yeah, yeah. But there's also it, it it's filled in with fun moments like being Luffy uh, being trapped in that bubble uh, by that guy and rolling down, rolling, rolling all over the place and getting sick and shit. Like. Yeah, that was classic. Um, it's funny, like one piece is comedy and drama weaved perfectly together. Yeah. And uh, what was I gonna say? It was a little weird to me um, at the concert. Like everyone's obsessed with this this girl. Um, and then yeah, Luffy goes on stage and crashes the party, and everyone hates him. And uh, and then she re reveals that she's the daughter of uh, of uh, the Red Pirate people. Shanks. But also just, she reveals that she's the daughter of a pirate, and everyone's just, like, still cool with that. Well, they weren't at first. <laughs> Remember, they weren't cool with it at first. And then she stops those other pirates, and they're like, oh, she's not like the Shanks. Mm. But it's just weird that it just, like, the whole, like, the crowd was just still, like, just sitting there watching, I guess... Maybe. That's how crowds do. <laughs> like, yeah, come on. Like, I guess what are they supposed Was to do? Was it just yeah. sports? Is that how sports is? You just sit there and they watch. They don't, yeah. they don't get involved. Um, and maybe that's saying something too. I think a lot of it was saying something. It seemed like there was a lot of social commentary to a certain extent too. Mm. But it was just animated and subtle, so nobody. Yeah, really no, pay I really attention. liked that because like you had uh, you had the people trying to capture her, you had the pirates. You had uh, Luffy's gang trying to trying to stop them. You had, uh, I mean, they were just like everyone was coming you together. You had the big mom pirates, and that was like Oven and the 
the dude with the mochi legs or whatever, like the white power, you probably didn't yeah. really recognize who he was. The guy who was standing in the shower was like, I'm gonna go save my sister. Mm -hmm. That guy's Big Mom Pirates. Mm -hmm. The fire oven guy, the oven, chick with the yeah, mirror. I, I recognize him, yeah. And then who else we have? We had the Big Mom Pirates. I guess that big was like Mom the Big Mom Pirates was like the ugly witch the with big the hot body. Ugly like, witch. Oh, wait, no, that, that was Best Brulee, one of the Big Mom Pirates. Okay. But Big Mom Pirates, Big Mom is oh, the oh, big yeah, lady no. who was in the. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you showed me that because that was one of the, the best episodes, I think, you, as far as action for goes. For sure, for you sure. Me that one, yeah. So, yeah, um, lots of characters. Lot, and they had Cypher Pole, that was like the military gang. Mm. They had uh, all the Navy admirals, they don't really bring them out much, so that was interesting to see mm -hmm. these guys. Shanks is a character we've actually never really seen in action in the yeah, show Shanks ever until dope. just now. Shanks was was cool. Kobe, he's another character who we've never seen in action until this movie. Like, so there's that, a lot of characters. That must have been a, a great moment for the for people. for fans. Yeah, fans, like yeah. it was like you hadn't seen a lot of these characters ever in the sh in a thousand and thirty eight episodes or something. You've never seen some of but these characters heard. in action. Well, you've met them and you've but, seen them like talk and you know you've interacted with them but, but not as the main centerpiece of exactly the story. so it's been interesting the, it was cool hat, how they put that the together straw hat passed down from from shanks and then so the passed tattooed. down from the pirate king it went from pirate king to shanks to luffy okay. and that's why they had that one shot where he found the baby and he thought about the pirate king like that happened for him and he was trying to do it for somebody oh. else now and yeah. he's like done that for Luffy too, like kind of been wow. a father figure to all these guys in the new era because they came too fast. Like that's beautiful. Basically, in in the story, they the pir old pirate king went there. He he got to the One Piece or whatever, mm -hmm. and then he said like we got here too soon, and it's not for us. It's for the next generation. And Luffy is this next. They, whatever we don't know, oh. but they're just saying. In their in their memoirs and notebooks and stuff is we got here too soon and every we have to leave it all to the next generation. Interesting. And so Luffy is the next generation that everybody's betting everything on. You know what I mean? Hence the talk of talk of like there's a new age dawning and all this stuff. It's talking about them ushering yeah, in a yeah. new age. Oh shit. There was some songs that were talking about that. I know, that's the whole, everything was super, if you read, listen to the songs, they were talking about her emotions and the story. Like, it was I trippy. I didn't even, I, I just thought you the started songs watching were the, just, I know, you started watching the animation too, and it's hard to read the I know, subtitles. I like, <laughs> looking back and forth, like I up and down. I just had to give up on the songs. I well, I was like, I started reading the songs, I was like, <laughs> am I really getting any, any information? I said, nope. <laughs> and it was like a fight, plus like a music video, all happening at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same thing with well, I think we saw the dub of Bell. Well, yeah, yeah that was saw, not but, this yeah. shit on Bell. This the Bell was. Yeah. I felt bad that Bell even got released in the same time frame because it will never get well, no, no love. I'm saying I would have. I would have thought the music probably would have been a lot better. So I mean, it wasn't. I like Bell. But. I did like Bell, but this was still One Piece film red, so it went way harder. I mean, why is it called Red? Because probably Shanks or something, or oh, I guess red haired red. Shanks is his name. Plus, she had half red hair, you know. Oh, yeah, okay. But that also doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Because she, she was just, she wasn't his actual daughter. daughter. Yeah, I know, but she had red hair anyway. Who knows? Who knows? Um, yeah, I feel like we could keep talking, but for I mean, sure, I, it was, I give it a 10 out of 10. It. I love it. Uh, oh man, that's it was solid, bro. <laughs> that's ten out of ten, though. That's hey, reserved for like. I'm a One Piece fan, though. I <laughs> need to give 5. Dragon Ball the. Nine point five. You know or that nine. just averages out to a nine. But guy, right, fair nine. enough, fair enough. <laughs> solid, um, though. That was solid. I can't deny that. Yeah, there was some moments that kind of were a little. I want to say dull, but like. Even th like yeah, a, there was the flat, like when they ends. were all like running around through that city and stuff. Like yeah, it was, I was a little like bit flat. Off a little bit, so. It got flat right there. But then I was right back in it when, like, when they reveal important information about the plot and like they flash back to the, um, yeah, to them as kids, um, and uh, like all all those moments where they're just like, I mean, I feel like it's 100 miles an hour. Like they, there is it was a lot going on. miles an hour. And I feel like I missed a lot, but. It was yeah, still I'll, very I'll straightforward. You know what I mean? Like, even though there was a lot going on, it was still pretty straightforward, okay? She's trapping everybody in there. They gotta get out. 
at the end of the day, I felt like there was a lot of extra detail, but that's how One Piece does it. It's like mm, there was a lot of lots of talking and detail, yeah, but really it's a straightforward story. They're just world building oh, more than they need yeah. to. That's what I was gonna say. I was gonna talk about the, just the ending and, and them s s having to sync up in order to beat the the Toots Musica. Um, really cool, definitely pretty fast, but like I loved how each of them had like counterparts, uh, like Luffy and Shanks and um, I, I can't remember that, any of their characters, but like they they like hit the blows yeah, at the yeah, same, same times time. and um, and it was in this just wild space matrix. Yeah, like, that was just a crazy sequence. <laughs> yeah. um, left leg, and then everybody just go yeah, for that. Yeah, right leg, yeah, and just, yeah. You know. It's like yeah, you got to take down all the all the different parts and uh, man, it was just like stimuli like to the to the max to the max to the max to the max um and then i did like the ending was like beautiful kind of like them just luffy wakes up and he already sees uh, he hasn't seen, seen shanks though in all this time too so that's another thing is like yeah. he misses them after all of this he still misses them it's yeah been, like, and they years. only got a brief brief moment together um but yeah and then he wakes up and then shanks and uh and fucking um the fuck's your name uta uta is dead spoiler what she's dead <laughs> well i guess i can i maybe guess that because like she or she was just asleep she was probably dead those are the vibes they were given with her. Like, remember, she didn't take the medicine. She, she didn't take the medicine. When you take them of the wake shrooms, then you die. Oh, so I thought you could just fall asleep and then wake back up. Potentially. You die. Yeah. <laughs> she had to take the so medicine, he, but she slapped take, it out of his hand. Okay. All right. She did. I guess you, you can never say for sure. Unless yeah, for sure. It's body, One Piece, but... too. Like, he don't really be killing people off. But this seemed like a final <clears throat> kind of movie thing. Um, but, yeah, that was beautiful, too, how she didn't. She refused to take the medicine. To save everybody out of the thing that she caused in the first place. Let's not get it twisted. It was literally yeah, yeah, her yeah. fault. Come on, Jay. <laughs> Come um, on, Jay. Wait, does everyone wake up yeah remember they brought yeah. everybody back they like fell asleep in the dream world and then all uh, woke up in the real world remember it was like Luffy, Man. you slept for a long oh, time yeah, yeah, yeah. because but he was fucking... still no he was having a conversation with her in the dream world remember they're like Luffy, oh, you yeah. slept for a long time but they were sitting at that thing talking yeah <sighs> that's fucking heavy then that because she knew guess... you know what i mean she knew like i'm on my way out yeah that could also be a metaphor for fucking fame i don't know <laughs> Maybe looking too deep now, <laughs> but maybe not. Like, Jiro Oda is a G, bro. I'm telling you. Like, he probably researched the music industry like and really got deep. R.I.P. Like, Aaron Carter. You know, you know what I'm saying. Well, I know he passed away. R.I.P. Though. Yeah. R.I.P. Take off too. You know. Some fucking. Drugs, Shout out to music. Shout out to music. Fucking. Yep. So I give it the ten. You uh, the nine, I guess nine, that's. Nine. You got anything else to say? It was on point. Um. See this film. Nine yeah, minutes. sing, Three. see it, and sing, and <laughs> again, uh, and be happy. Yeah, hear Uta's music and be happy. Let it bring yeah. happiness to your life, which and, it did um, at the end. At the end, everybody was listening to it around the world, and it was bringing them joy. So, like, her her wish was accomplished mm -hmm. to a certain extent. Yeah, she really she did want just joy to be spread. And that's what all the Disney, uh, Disney, uh, fucking actresses singer songwriters that's what they all say yeah and but then they end up dying sure, well, well maybe there's some themes there you know maybe there's some themes there she was an idol yep she was a young idol who, who lost her life due to the stress and the lies even though it was her doing no time i still like that part like it was her like that Sure, it was top musica. Yeah, it's like she didn't the devil. Know. And she you know, also, they also didn't tell her. It really could be some music industry shit. Like you know, the devil. She met the devil while she was you know she went to the music place, met the devil. Was drugs it, or something. Yeah, it took over her. 
and she died. Like that's kind of some Amy dark. Winehouse. Legit, bro. Like, it, was, it was dark. It's like it seems like, like in, a happy uh, movie, and then Janet it went Jop dark. Janis Joplin. Anyway. Um. Yeah, dude. Fucking powerful shit. Um. And you can you can believe that like the themes go deep, um, because like you said, like it's a it's a storyteller that has the track record of, of making great shit. So. Yeah, literally, he has like no losses. I'm not kidding. He's <clears throat> it's not like it's not like you're just like guessing and like oh you're putting your own spin on it spin because on everything it. is so obvious and apparent. But that's what makes it flow so well. Yeah. Like this is what we're uh, talking about, and these you know like. It's just theme. It really is. He is a a writer who I have to say I didn't even really understand theme until I got in, like you know I got in touch with Jiro Oda's work. That is the truth. Everybody else is like maybe subtly they added in there, but I couldn't truly con like grasp the concept until I saw his work. Where like the themes would be so prevalent, it's like you could almost just say the shit like without it being so like well maybe they were talking about it was like oh wow that story was about this this and this because mm -hmm. there's so many elements that like kind of uh back it up yeah and there's and there's layers and you can see the layers like man he's a yeah. beast I, there's nothing else to say I mean, read what one, else, one piece watch he, one piece uh, what else has he done one piece yeah, I mean, <laughs> one piece yeah 25 wonder, years of one piece i wish i wish he would maybe do something else then yeah 25 years of one piece okay like i get that's his that's his brainchild that's, that's the his magnum baby, opus but maybe you know try doing something else or he could just finish <laughs> one piece okay finish one piece and then no, and a, then and then no, he can retire. He can retire. He's done his thing. He just needs to inspire other artists at this point. Um, we don't want him to old, ruin his legacy. Is he, is he an old old cat? Um, I don't know. Look it up. O Oda. Yo. Achiro Oda. Age is. Um. 47. 47, okay. His hand is still strong. Oh, He's yeah, still out young, here. Dude. Still out here writing this story. Net worth. Rich. <laughs> $200 million. Rich. I guess I can understand why he's still doing One Piece then. <laughs> <laughs> Rich. <sighs> I need my One Piece. Yeah, you do. Everybody needs a One Piece. All right. I guess well, with that. we out. <laughs>